Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again for the week 45 weekly update. We're going to start out this week with the Boker Yukon. This is a Skinner style folder, excellent as a lightweight hunting knife, and great for everyday utility as well. You've got a blade of satin finished 440C, so excellent corrosion resistance with good edge retention and sharpening response. It's got a Shallow hollow grind, so very fine cutting edge on there. A little bit of a top wedge, delivering a very fine point while rotating a good robust thickness at the spine. You've got jimping here for good traction for the thumb. Linerless G10 for the handles, and it's a nice thick contoured handle. Fills the hand very well and is very secure. We've got a mid back lock and their new internal spring mechanism, which reduces the overall weight and makes for a much more compact and lightweight knife. Oval blade hole opening for easy one hand opening. A rock solid lock up here. It does have no clip for carry, but it does have a rear positioned inline lanyard loop for lanyard attachment there. And we'll take a look at this with the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 for a good size comparison. So it's a good medium sized knife, very lightweight for everyday carry, and just an all around great design in a budget friendly platform. And next up, we have the Boker Takara. And this is a liner lock top flipper. And you've got a couple of different flipper design options. You can do the index or you can do the forward flipper. You've got a blade of satin finished D2 tool steel. So good edge retention and corrosion resistance for a non stainless steel. Again, we have a nice satin finish on the blade. This is a full flat grind with that reverse tanto point, so a little more robust at the tip. Retaining good strength at the spine while offering good slicing performance. Stainless liner construction with a nearly full length backspacer. This knife is pretty robust while retaining a good light weight. Carbon fiber handle scales on this one. It does come also in Coco Bolo and Black G10. And then we've got a single position right hand tip up only 3D machine stainless steel pocket clip. Comes with a leather lanyard attached and is a great robust gentleman style knife. So you get excellent style while at the same time a very capable utility knife. Next we have the Genios from Boker. This is a gentleman style everyday carry. We've got a blade of VG10 and a satin finished deep hollow grind and sort of a modified Warncliffe style blade or a sheep's foot. It's got a nice straight cutting edge and you can see it's got a crowned spine and take a look here. You can kind of see the depth of that hollow grind. So good slicing performance. Forward swedge gives it a nice tip for piercing and detail work. Full titanium handle construction with carbon fiber inlays. Crowned back spring on this one. And then this also has the internal spring locking mechanism, which gives it a very thin and lightweight construction. And this one has a very smooth operation both in the opening and closing. So nice smooth tension on that. Again, no clip on this one and no lanyard loop on this one as well, but it does come with a nice leather slip sheath for in pocket carry. We've got another traditional style slip joint, the Legacy Trapper from Smith & Sons. And this is made with collaboration from Mazarin of Italy. So made by Mazarin for Smith & Sons. 
We got a flat ground D2 tool steel blade with a nice heavy stone wash. Very traditional trapper style. And this one has burlap micarta for the handle scales. It's also offered in carbon fiber. We got stainless steel liners, a nice strong back spring with half stop operation, and a long pull nail nick for opening. And this one has a lanyard hole for lanyard attachment. And again, as with most traditionals, no pocket clip. We've also got a more modern style slip joint here. This is the new Yin's Anso design from Zero Tolerance, the Zero 230. This is based off of his custom Monte Carlo design. And I've got a full overview of this up on the channel. But some quick specs, we've got a 20 CV blade, full flat grind and stone washed, sheep's foot profile with nail nick opening. We've got a detent slip joint mechanism with a solid half stop, carbon fiber over stainless liners, and a blue anodized aluminum backspacer. So great compact lightweight slip joint and a nice high performance offering from Zero Tolerance, also their first slip joint offering as well. Here we've got the Microtech UTX85 with the Spyderco Para 3 for a little comparison. And this one here is the Spartan Blade, somewhat unusual in their lineup. It's a double edged blade, but it has a Gladius style tip and dual straight edges on this one. Black coated LMAX for the steel. And as per usual with Microtech, we got a snappy double action out the front. This is also a tactical variation, which gives it the black blade, handle, and all black hardware. So great option for a little more compact, everyday carry friendly out the front from Microtech knives. We have another offering from Smith & Sons here. This is their everyday carry fixed blade, the Shrew. You've got AEBL stainless steel with a shallow hollow grind on this one. So a good balance of slicing performance and durability. Robust tip for piercing. You've got a streamlined and contoured handle of G10. And this is the toxic and black layer G10 but we do have a few different handle options available. Very comfortable and ergonomic in the hand. A knife that has a lot of great control and a high level of utility in the design. And it comes with a custom molded Kydex sheath for neck carry and makes a great everyday carry fixed blade. If you're looking to add a dagger to your collection, then the small batch produced American made Spartan Harsey dagger is an excellent option. We've got a blade of CPM S35VN with a flat dark earth PVD coating on this one. It is also available in black DLC. We had milled black canvas micarta for the handle scales. Very comfortable and ergonomic. Full tang construction as you can see. Tang comes out at the pommel end of the handle. And a stainless dual guard. This is reminiscent of the V14 dagger. And it comes with a molded Kydex sheath on this one, matching the blade in a coyote tan. And you've got beta loops attached for drop belt carry, or the Kydex can be outfitted with any number of carry options of your choice. So great option or a high quality US made dagger for your collection. And last but not least, we have a holiday sale running on select Gerber items, including the excellent fastball flipper. This is an American made EDC flipper with a ball bearing pivot, very snappy deployment. We've got a blade of S30V, and this version has a tumbled black oxide coating. You can see it has somewhat of a reverse tanto point there with a 
mid-height saber grind for a good combination of durability and slicing performance, fairly robust blade stock thickness, aluminum handles with a stainless steel inset liner lock, and reversible three position stainless steel pocket clip for carry. I'll grab that pair of three again for a little size comparison. So you can see an excellent EDC option, about the same length of cutting edge. Blade length is fairly similar on it as well. A little thinner in the stock, but that is also going to be made up for by that saber grind and similar functional grip area. Footprint is going to be a little smaller as you'd expect, but again, a great everyday carry option in a budget friendly price point. We've also got some of the Gerber Autos available, including the Applegate Covert Auto and the Propel Auto as well. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and your Week 45 Weekly Update. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, follow us on social media, like the video below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new products.